Hey guys, Eli here today with Music Greatness. Today we're going to learn Hallelujah, I Love Her So by Ray Charles. Let's hear what it sounds like. Now, a quick note before we begin. The original recording is slightly detuned, so if you play along with it, you may hear some strange dissonances. All right, let's first begin by talking about the chords that we have in this song. So we're in the key of B flat. And our first chord is a B flat over F. We have octave F in the left hand. And in the right hand, F, B flat, D, and F. Then we move to G minor, G octave in the left hand, and in the right hand, D, G, and B flat. Then we have this G minor major seven, add six. G and E in the left hand, B flat, E, and F sharp in the right. Then we move to a G seven, G and F in the left hand, B natural, F natural, and G in the right. And then we move to this C minor add six, or another way of thinking about it would be an F7 sharp five without the root. We have C and A in the left hand, E flat, A, and D flat in the right hand. Then, move to a C dominant 9. C and B flat in the left hand, E, B flat, and D in the right. Then we have F7, F in the left hand, E flat, A, and C in the right. And finally, we move to a B flat. B flat in the left hand, D, F, and B flat in the right. All right, now that you know the chords, I'm going to slowly count along with the pulse and you can hear where each chord kind of falls. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Alright, now let's break down how to play this intro. So I'll play just the first couple bars for you. So here what we have is an octave lead up in the left hand. We play D octave, E flat octave, E natural octave, F octave, and when we land on the F, we hold that out for the bar, and in the right hand, we play F octave with a D in the middle. Then we go up to E flat and G. And here we briefly let go of the F. Then we go back down to the F, D, and F. And then we arpeggiate this B flat. D, B flat, F. So we have our lead up. Then in the next bar, we're going to land on the G minor. We have G octave in the left hand. We play our G minor inversion up top. And then we go up to this C and back to the G minor chord. And we let go of the G octave in the left hand when we land on this G minor chord. So really slowly, those two bars. The same thing then repeats. Now 
Now in this bar, we land on the F, and instead of doing our same thing that we did with the arpeggiation of the B flat major chord, we play this low F, then we jump all the way up here, and play the same F octave, we're just playing it higher up. So we play this, and then when we land on this F octave up here, we are also going to play B flat, D, and F in the right hand. And this is where we have our G minor major 7 add 6. So we play that chord into our G7. And that rhythm with the octave is 1, 2, 3, and 4. So I'll play the bar leading up to that and as well as that bar. Now from here, we go to our C minor add 6 for one beat. Then we play our C9. And with our C9, in the actual song when we play it, we do not play the C in the bottom. It's just B flat, E, B flat, D. So. Then we're going to go down to this low F play the rest of our F7 chord up top. So that bar sounds like one, two, three, and four. So that bar plus the last bar is and then we have our final bar of B flat. So we play this low B flat here, along with the rest of our B flat chord up top. And then we have sort of this chunking split technique is what I like to call it, where in the right hand, what we have is B flat. And then we simply play. So we're playing B flat up top every time. And we're playing D and F, B flat, C sharp and E, B flat, C and E flat, up to B flat, and then we just land on B flat and D. And in the left hand underneath this, we're playing B flat, and then A flat, G, G flat, F. Now we land on this B flat chord here with F in the left hand, B flat and D in the right. And we jump up to this cool little E over F chord. F and D in the left hand, G sharp, B, E in the right. And then up to this F7. F and E flat, A, D, F. And that rhythm is two, and three, and four. So those last couple bars. All right, awesome. That is the intro to Hallelujah, I Love Her So. Let's recap what we just learned. Thank you so much for tuning in today. If you would like to access the entire course, you can head over to musicgreatness.com. Thanks for stopping by and have a wonderful day.